Monitoring your services and providing a status page is essential when you're building any application. And in this video, we're going to be looking at an open source alternative called openstatus.dev. So here we are on openstatus's website, which is openstatus.dev. As you can see, it's an open source alternative to your current monitoring service. And it gives you these kinds of things such as being able to monitor it, having automatic checks depending on time. So you can do a minute, five, 10, 30. Uh, on top of that, you do get things like OG images. They give you custom image so you can show your current uptime and a bunch of other stuff. But let's actually dig into what it looks like and how you set it up. So first of all, I've already set up an account. I've just signed in to this account and now I'm at the get started section. What I did was I created a uh, application here with just an API endpoint that intentionally will error some of the time. So let's first just uh, describe this. We'll just say this is our API health endpoint. Here is the URL that we're using. And just to give you an idea of what the actual code does, all the code does is if math random is less than 0.8, we'll return successful. Otherwise we'll return a status of 500, which can then just kind of show how that kind of works. You can click test request. And in the bottom right hand corner, you'd normally see connection has been established, but you can kind of see it here. That just pops up as a toast. Now we have the option to set time limits for the free tier. You can do every hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, and you can select the actual regions that you ping from. So I've left it as random so that it will actually try it from all different versions. And then you can select whether it's active or not. So let's just hit confirm here. We get saved successfully. And then we have this and we can just get ourselves a title and a slug here. So let's call this demo, uh, open status demo and James open status demo. And then we won't have an icon and we'll hit confirm. So this will actually create our status page now so we can actually visit it. And as you can see, once this loads, you can see we've had zero incidents and we our status right now for the demo has nothing right now. And obviously it will get pinged and this will get updated. In here, you can edit any of it. Obviously you can visit and you can delete. On top of that, they do have integrations right now with Rasell coming soon. It's gonna be in beta. Uh, which will allow you to basically directly integrate with Vercel, making it super easy. If you've already got a deployment, then you can just take care of it. On here, you got the incidents here, so you can create an incident. So we can create one right now. Let's give it a title and say uh, API randomly errors when we errors and we don't know why. Then you can select your status. You can write a message like, we are investigating. You can select what monitor it's going to go on and the time, hit confirm, and then we'll get a updated page. So if I go to my status pages here and visit again, we now see that we have this, we are investigating and this is what it's affecting right now. And here is, you know, what we're doing. And then of course, like any good monitoring service, if you go ahead and go back to your incidents here, You'll see this one and we can do a new update and we can say resolved. James is bad code caused this issue. Hit confirm and we're done. So now if we go back to our demo page here and refresh, you can see that it's now been resolved and soon this API will get hit and then this will change based upon that. And the final thing to just show off here is they do have an actual API that you can use. So if you just create a token here, this token will only be shown once. So keep it safe, obviously, and you can revoke it afterwards. You can actually go to their documentation here and you have options to ping their API. So as you can see here, you can do this and add in the key and that will make a ping to this API and it will return based upon that. So they have all these different endpoints. So this one will actually tell you what the current monitoring is, the periodic, what regions, the name description, et cetera, and anything else that you may need. Then obviously you can do things like get a different monitor by ID. You can put, you can post. And then of course, down here, 
you can actually do incidents via the API. So if you know that something has gone wrong and you have like an API that's separate from their dashboard, maybe you already have something built in, you can hit these endpoints and make it super simple. So there you have it, an open source alternative to your monitoring solutions. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop it a like. And of course, check over here. There'll be a nice algorithm driven video that you can watch. And if you're not subscribed, click right here.